fight for it. Strides past. Roberts will struggle to keep this one on play. On the right hand side. Drifted back across the area. Mo Fouls waiting. Fouls touch. Off the post and in. people and welcome back to Roots TV and we return again to uncover another non-league gem. Thanks to everyone that checked out the first video with AJ that was so well received. So this time it's only right that Mohamedou Fowl gets the same energy. Last season I got to witness the scoring prowess of Mo in the flesh during his time at Enfield Town. Almost every single time I went to go see him play his name was on the score sheet which probably justifies his move to National League Southside having and Waterlooville. Now before we get into some action of Big Mo I just want to shout out some of his career highlights. Fowl firstly joined Enfield Town back in December 2018 and after only five appearances went on trial at Scottish Club Dumbarton. He then went back to the town to score 24 goals in 25 games in all competitions the following season, leading to a move to Bolton Wanderers on an 18-month contract on the 6th of January 2020. Unfortunately, the move didn't quite work out for Mo, and after getting released, he rejoined Enfield Town in 2021, scoring 35 goals in 43 games. Madness! Which then brings us to this present day where he's tearing it up at Havant and Waterlooville. And he's even got a cheeky sponsor for the season. We opted for the home shirt at a price of £125. With that, we get our logo in every match day programme as well as our logo on the website with a link to the channel. Not only that, we get a signed shirt from the main man himself at the end of the season. What made you choose having a Waterlooville? The manager, he made me uh, feel really comfortable just making sure that, you know, I will get what I'm after here, which is playing, scoring goals and hopefully pushing up again. If me in league last year, step up to the National League South, how are you finding that? I'd probably say there's a lot more athletic players in this league, like nobody's a bad player, do you know what I mean? you just got to be the better player. Oh, and by the way, did you know he's related to Liverpool's Joe Gomez? Right, that's enough of me rambling on, but by now you should all know what to do. Like, comment and subscribe, and any suggestions on who I should cover next are duly welcomed. And without further ado, over to you, Mo. You actually got man of the match today as well. Ah, uh, not finally, bro. Remember last one? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I chat to you. Aye, do diligent, man. Let's go. Love that.
away. Wright hasn't been able to make the ball stick in this second half, but does that time and heads down to Farr. Can Farr find a goal against him on a play? On his right foot, strides past Mark Smith in the Beavers' goal. 3-1 Hamilton Waterlooville. Well, it's been all Beavers over the last 10 minutes or so, but Marl Mofal picked up a Danny Wright nod down, took it inside on his right boot, and from 17 yards, smashes it in the bottom left-hand corner, past Mark Smith. English, driving in field, chooses to find Wilmoth. Wilmoth just looking to square the ball, but it's a poor pass, and the Hawks can come the other way in a counter-attack through James Roberts. Roberts will struggle to keep this one on play. On the right-hand side, drifted back across the area. Mo Fowl's waiting, Fowl's touch, off the post and in. A great finish from Mo Fowl. Well, he failed to convert in the first half, but he's converted this time, and you can see the emotion in that goal, Adam. Frustrated with the way he missed the first one, but makes no mistake this time. Opening up his left foot and cushioning it off the post and in. And it's Mo Fowl again who scored for the Hawks. He just cannot stop scoring at the moment. It wasn't the most conventional finish you'll ever see. Jason Pryor, Joe Wasler, Danny Wright, Jake McCarthy, all targets. It's towards Pryor. It's headed away well by Ray. Helped back into the penalty area by McCarthy. Into Fowl, who tucks home. Flag stays down. Having a Waterlooville back with a two goal lead. And it's Mo Fowl who tormented Chesant last season. They've come up a division and he's tormenting them again. Out swinging corner from Billy Clifford towards the back post. Joe Oster's waiting, but first to it's McCarthy. Helped over the line by Mo Fowl. He's scored again for Hamilton Waterlooville. And just as Jake McCarthy jumps level with him, Mo Fowl stands alone as the top scorer again. Idea cleared loose to Billy Clifford, takes it round the midfielder and driving on his left boot, chipped into the path of foul, breaking one on one with Henry. It's a beautiful finish from Mo Fowl, who just lifts it over Henry and into the back of the net. And Hammond and Waterlooville have a 1 0 lead inside 12 minutes. And it was a moment of genius from Billy Clifford just to scoop it over the heads of the Chippenham Town back line and a simple finish for foul, but he nil to the Angels. Hawks still pushing and looking for an equaliser. Joe Newman looking to sprint towards the ball and keep it in play, he's done so brilliantly. Mo Fowl loose in the area, twist past his man, still going foul at the near post, saved, but it's bounced in, and Mo Fowl magic has struck again, his 11th of the season. Joe Newton did so brilliantly well to keep it in play. He stood it back to Mo Fowl, who broke past his man and knocked it over the line, and Fowl has the Hawks equaliser, Hasley. Looping one back into the penalty area, straight up in the air. Will anyone get a touch on it? Mo Fowl heads it towards Mayo, it's in the back of the net. There's one. Mo Fowl with a freak goal. A ball went straight up in the air from Hasley. Rough headed to Fowl. Fowl just craned his neck, nodded it past Harrison Mayo in the Worthing goal. The